Hey friends, um, so we are gonna do a kettlebell side bend right here. Um, this exercise, I think more than anything else um, that I've done for cross training for roller derby has helped me take a hit better, okay? So this is a core exercise, but it focuses on your obliques. And if you think about the way we turn and skate and twist and where we get hit, um, this has made me so much more stable um, and I feel like my core is stronger and able to take a hit uh, from a blocker a lot better, okay? So I'm gonna use a kettlebell, uh, but you can use a dumbbell or even um, a plate, like a weight plate that has a handle on it, something that you can grip pretty good though. Um, I prefer the kettlebell to the dumbbell just because my thigh gets in the way of the dumbbell and uh, it doesn't with the kettlebell, right, because of the handle on it. So this one's pretty heavy, it's 35 pounds. I suggest starting with something closer to like 10 or 15 if you've never done this before. Um, but once you get the move down, you're going to want to put some weight behind it. So I'm going to stand about hip width apart, core engaged, shoulders back, right? We've got a nice posture here. And I am going to tip towards the weight and back up to center, okay? So this works the opposite side of your body from where the weight is. Tip and back to center, okay? I'm not going too far. I'm making sure that I am not tipping front or back at all, just to the side. Um, I often tell my clients that they're like a little teapot, right? Tip me over. So I'm just gonna switch. Nice good posture here. We're gonna tip. You're gonna feel it in the opposite side as you come back up. Okay, tip, come back up. Yeah, you don't ever wanna put two weights, like one on each side here, and go back and forth. I see a lot of people doing that at the gym, um, I guess to try to save time. But you want that opposite side to be empty so that you are fully just pulling up using those obliques, right? That is your kettlebell side bend. Have fun.